Hello there, it's topic time, and the topic for today is shoes. Now in my dictionary, the definition of the word shoe is as follows. A covering for the human foot. Pretty simple. Shoes come in different sizes. Small, medium, and large. They also come in different styles. This one's a boot. Let's see. Here's a dress shoe. I've got a slipper and sandal. Of course, there's always the traditional tennis shoe. They also come in different colors. I've got a pink shoe, a blue shoe, and also a red shoe, which brings us right into our story. The title of the story is Ruby's Red Running Shoes. Stories and picture by Kathy Ann. There once was a girl named Ruby who loved the color red. She also loved to run. On her birthday, she got the perfect present, a brand new pair of high top red running shoes. Ruby, you take good care of your new shoes, the girl's mother told her. Oh, I will, I promise, Ruby said as she ran out the front door. I'm going to buy some candy with the money I've saved. And she was off. Zoom! She sprinted straight to the grocery store, and as she passed the produce section on her way to the candy aisle, she did not notice that a bunch of purple grapes had fallen to the floor. She stepped on them with her left foot. They squirted out from under her shoe. Squish! When she took a step, she went slipping and sliding right into a large lady pushing a cart. Crash! Well, excuse me, said the lady in an angry tone. Whoops! Excuse me, Ruby said as she hurried out of the store, forgetting about the candy. Dashing down the sidewalk, her right shoe landed on a big glob of sticky, icky, ooey-gooey gum. Lifting her foot, a long string of gum swung between her shoe and the sidewalk. Sprang! She tried dragging her foot along the concrete to get the gum off. Scrape! But that only attracted more debris to stick to the bottom of her right shoe. The accumulation of a couple crumpled leaves, an old candy wrapper, chunks of unidentified stuff sticking to the bottom of her right red shoe made her walk lopsided. Step thump, step thump. However, that did not slow her down. With the money she saved not buying candy, she darted to the local dairy stand in her new red running shoes for an ice cream cone. She handed the man four quarters, three dimes, and five pennies. Plink, plank, plunk. Unfortunately, the ice cream melted faster than she could lick it. Drip, drop. Plop. Multiple drops dripped onto both the left and right toes of her new shoes. Trying to wipe it off only made things worse, leaving tiny balled up chunks of paper napkins clinging to the globs of gooey, creamy goo. Clump, clump, clump. Next, her shoes jogged her to the park, where she watched a cute little black dog chasing a frisbee. Since she paid no attention to where she was going, her left shoe landed on top of a stinky brown pile left by the little black dog. Not so cute anymore. Ooze. As hard as she tried to rub the malodorous, malodorous droppings off in the grass, the foul odor lingered. She now walked funny and smelled bad, too. P.U. Her red running shoes seemed more trouble than they were worth. <sighs> the last straw came as she raced down the street where she lived, ready to call it a day. Two boys rushed past her, laughed, pointed, and yelled. Ha ha ha! Look at Ruby with those dumb red shoes. Nobody wears red shoes. The emphasis on red. Well, she put on her serious face, looked at those boys, and shouted back, Well, I wear them, and I like them. Grrr. 
and she really did still like them, even though they had only led her to trouble and more trouble. When she got home, Ruby looked down at her sneakers. They were a mess. She found a stick and pried all the gunk off her right shoe. Plick, plack, plunk. Then she turned on the hose and got the remains of the grapes and dog doo-doo off the sole of her left shoe with an old scrub brush. Scrub-a-dub-dub. She dipped a clean rag in a bucket of water and washed the dried ice cream off the top of both shoes. Splish, splash, sploosh. She then put them on the back step to dry in the sun. Looking at her almost as good as new red running shoes, she thought, maybe tomorrow my shoes will take me on more adventures, but really good ones. Ah. Uh. Maybe I'll step on a quarter or a dollar bill. Cha-ching! Or maybe I'll run to the playground and try out the new slide. Whee! Or maybe I'll walk to the beach, take them off, and run through the sand barefoot. Hot, hot, hot! Yo! Or maybe I'll just stay home and read a good book. Mm. The end. Until next time!